everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Mage McCaw, you are watching Mage McCaw at AJ.com. Not dot com, I have no clue what I'm saying. Anyways, today, for my first video, my video topic is going to be my top five unpopular Animal Jam opinions. Now let's get into it. First things first, we're going to go in here into the art studio. We're going to click on this, and I'm going to tell you why masterpieces actually suck. Because you can't make a goddamn straight line. What is this? What is that? Like, at most, you can make some funky abstract art, become a Jackson Pollock type. Like, this actually looks kind of cute, though, in a way. If you want this art, let me know. But it takes forever to actually make good art in here. And for me, I'm ADHD. I don't have that kind of time. Ignore the fact I've been doing a lot of art with, like, all these custom colors. <laughs> Quit. My second AJ opinion is that the Arctic Wolf... Oh my god, there's so many people here. I'm going back to my home. My second AJ opinion is that the Arctic Wolf is actually one of the suckiest animals. And, like, yeah, stuff looks good on it, but, like, and the dancing always looks kind of, like, feminine. And this just, that just looks like the wolf. It's just a fancy wolf, and I kind of hate it. I'm just not a fan. My personal favorite animal is the snow leopard. And you might be going, why is the snow leopard your favorite animal? And for me, that's just because I like how the clothes look on it a lot. Like, if you put antlers on it or something like that, it just looks like this cool, foresty, weddling creature. And let me just go to a different... Oh my god, I'm at Alden. That explains everything. But if I go to, like, Drava, and I make sure open world isn't on. Do, 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 do. And then I go to Serapia, I'm just going to look so at home. It just looks really nice to just, you know, be in Serapia. I have so little eco credits. So my second unpopular opinion is that the um, snow leopard is the best animal, just hands down. I love everything about him. He's beautiful. And we're then going to move on to opinion number three, and that is that the Oshu lands are actually super awesome. Y'all just don't give them enough credit. I'm still in Drava, so you're not going to see anyone here, which is the way I like it. I'm an introvert. Which might be why I like the ocean um, land so much. <laughs> ocean lands. Isn't that a bit of an oxymoron? But I like the oceans very much because I think they just offer something else to the game. And they all have this like super great aesthetic. My favorite is Connie Cove because there's just something very satisfying about seeing the little plants have their tubes disappear. And I love the animals that you can find in your journey book for the ocean lands. I just love ocean animals. And I think that the oceans are some of the coolest places to be in the game. And if you're just looking to get away from it all, I definitely recommend the oceans because, like, come on. Hardly anyone is ever in them. My favorite is Deep Blue because you can just get all, like, down to the cracks. And just chill out down here and it looks super cool. Plus, Phantom's Treasure is a super good game. Unpopular opinion number four. The Temple of Zios is the best land that is not ocean in the game. And that's because it has the 2D adventures. Now, unpopular opinion number 4.5. The 2D adventures are some of the best in the game. Because, like, you can just, like, go into any single one of them. And they're just all so much fun to me. So, like, I just go in here. And it's, like, the Trials of Zios. And you can just, like, run around and live your life. I think Trials of Zios is a, um, nope, it's a 3D adventure. I don't want that. If you hear anything outside, that's just my air conditioning. Ignore that. But the 2D adventures are actually really good in my opinion. A lot of people dislike them for some reason. And I'm just now realizing how short this video would be if I only gave 5 unpopular opinions. We're just going to extend it to 10. But like when you're playing this game, it's just so much fun. And look, you got a little arrow buddy. You jump around. It's a lot of fun. I'm actually not going to do, to do the whole adventure because that would take up too much time and I'm not a speedrunner. Anyways, unpopular opinion number actually five this time. Did we have to go to my den? The shop feature actually kind of sucks. And I'm going to tell you why. 
let's say that I want to sell this clover blanket I have. I have to just keep clicking up and up and up. And that just takes forever. You have to just wait for it to get all the way up there. And the highest price that any item can sell for in gems is, and we're getting up there. Wow, watch it go. I think it's like 10,000 or something, though it makes sense. I don't think it goes higher than 10,000. Oh, it does. But you can see that, like, even though the prices go pretty high, it just takes forever to get to the price you need if you're selling, like, a really big ticket item. Like, if I wanted to sell my spike, I have this rare spike collar. I have a good bit. So if I put in spiked collar, and let's say I wanted to sell my, my say, orange one. Do you know how much time it would take to get up to, like, the worth of it in diamonds? That would just take forever. And it would just be easier to save the diamonds up over time. So that's why unpopular opinion number five is that the My Shop feature sucks. Now while we're here, I'm just going to do a quick th shout out and say that this is intended for people only 13 and up. If you're a child, please go away. We don't like children here. Children are stupid. And they make Kappa just jump on people. I play this game as a 14 year old because I just like the game. But if you're a child, just please go away. Unpopular opinion number six has nothing to do with me going to the Epic Dens. Unpopular opinion number six is that the seasonal adventures are actually super good. A lot of people say that they suck or that they're just no more for the time or they're just all repetitions of each other. But I like what it's got going. I think that this is just super fun all around to just like do the seasonal adventures. But maybe that's just my opinion. Oh, I really hate this. Like, this is just so bad. Like, I like the message and all, but... Anyways, this is, like, really lagging my computer now, so we're just going to ignore it. But anyways, the adventures are just, like, all kind of fun to me in my head. I just have a bunch of fun with the seasonal adventures. I love Tiki Trouble, and I love everything about it. I just, I, my favorite would be Twists and Turns because I just love Autumn. Though I really do like the egg hunt one that I can't remember the name of, but they do in like April. Why is there just so many in spring? Anyways, I'm leaving from this. I'm not doing that. I just wanted to say that I love the seasonal adventures and that was number six. Alright, number seven. We're moving on to number seven. Whoop de whoop de whoop unpopular controversial opinion number seven is what the best den is now i see a lot of people say sky kingdom or liza's garden and i use liza's garden a lot so i agree that it's like a really good den because i just like to fill my house up with a bunch of things but my personal favorite den would be the grand observatory or the soul arcade den the Soul Arcade Den doesn't just gets just too little attention. You can see I have mine really decorated, all spacey in here. I really love it. Everything just looks so gorgeous in it. Like you have to admit that the wallpapers and stuff look really pretty. What I'm gonna do is just like undo everything so you can like, like it looks kind of ugly like this, but it can look really pretty. Like when I go over here, see I put this in. That just looks really pretty. This this looks gorgeous. Everything is just super nice looking to look at. And I love every moment of it. Like I just like really like that actually. I'm going to keep that green wallpaper. And I'm going to put in what floor? What does the grass one look like? I don't like that. I know that's off topic. Ignore me. I don't have anything important to say. I just want to rant about how much I love this. And then... Spaceship Grey looks really pretty in it. And the sky, like, that's just beautiful. Everything looks so amazing in it. And one of my favorites in it is definitely the, um, just nighttime one. Ooh, the brown thing looks nice. And I think that would look good. Like, do you think that looks good? Let me know in the comments when you watch this. Anyways, moving on. Soul Arcade Den is unpopular opinion number seven. It's the best den. Moving on, Belouche is actually a great land. Unpopular opinion number eight. Unpopular opinion number eight is that Juno is the best alpha. So when you go in, you'll notice that 
all of like the little things mentioning Juno refer to Juno as they, and I think that Juno is a non-binary icon. And the reason I think that this is, well, oh, that's about extinct animals. No one cares about extinct animals or extinct for a reason. But I'm trying to find, like, references to Juno being called they. Like, maybe this will have some? I don't know. It looks as if this... Lies that seem strange to the article statue would be the heart of the sanctioned temple. Was it made by Juno themselves? Juno is a non-binary icon. Cosmo is an ally. We can we can acknowledge that now, right? Right? So unpopular num unpopular opinion number eight. Juno is a non-binary icon, and Cosmo is an ally. And let's be honest, Peck is bisexual. There, I said it. You can call me wrong if you want, but you're just entitled to your wrong opinion. Belush is my current favorite land. Even though I think Zyos is aesthetically the best, I think that, um, <coughs> I don't have corona, actually. I'm just coughing. <coughs> Belush is just such a pretty land. Look at all the pretty stones. So, unpopular opinion number nine, going on from this, is that the best adventure is actually Meet Cosmo. And a lot of people I know hate it because it's just so tedious, but I like all the little fetching quests and defeating all the Phantom Sprouters and getting Cosmo everything he needs. I think that's a lot of fun. And we're almost at the end of the video. Oh, I just decided to load like the minute. So anyways, we're just going to ignore Cosmo. Goodbye, Cosmo. It was nice having a conversation with you. Unpopular opinion number 10. Numero de I can't speak Spanish. Why did I try? <coughs> <coughs> I don't usually talk this much. Well, I'm an introvert. Unpopular opinion number 10. Serapia Forest is overrated. I know I've had like a lot of land related ones, so that's not the actual one I'm going to use. But Serapia Forest is underrated, so count that as like 9.5, because like everyone's always in here. But it is cool, we can dance around and have Mira come up. But no one even dances around for Mira anymore. I miss 2012. Unpopular opinion number 10 is that the hot spot to be, the hottest spottest, is Gabby Douglas's, an not Gabby Douglas, Gabby Douglas is a gymnast, Gabby's Animal Hospital. Now I remember when this was just a hospital and there was no mentions of animals and everyone used it for like doctor role plays and there are people trying to like give birth in here to animals and weren't even theirs. But I just love this place. It has so much nostalgia for me. And it's one of my favorite places to go. So if you see me hanging out in here. If you see like just like a little snow leopard with antlers on. And you see that it's Gabby Animal Hospital. And there's like three other people in the whole entire server. You're looking at me, bud. So this was a fun little video. I hope, you, I hope you'd enjoyed it. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Or don't. Just go away maybe. I don't know. Pick up a hobby. Like, I don't know. Track. Bye.